Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your girl Nicole. Listen, I know y'all probably say, who is this? <laughs> this is my friend, my real good friend. And I told her, I said, you know what? We talk about this show every Sunday. Before the show, we have a show before. <laughs> and I said, you know what? You live down the street. Get in your car and <laughs> come down here and do a show with me. And she said, yeah. I, I didn't think she was going to say, yeah, y'all. So <laughs> I was just as surprised. And I've been looking for all day for you to be like, Lynette, I'm not coming. I'm not coming. When she told me, she said, my husband get off at 4. And I was like, mm -hmm, 4.30. She would hit me up and be like, I'm not coming. But she here, y'all. So y'all welcome Nicole to the show. And hopefully she'll make some more debuts over here. We ain't fire Stanley. He was working the camera. He in the kitchen right now. So don't. he'll be back. He'll be back. Don't Don't kill us. So, all right, Love and Marriage Huntsville, Season 3, Episode 14, Softball, Hard Shade. Starting off where we left off at last week, where we saw Letitia mm -hmm. over there in canceling with Dr. Francis. Y'all know Dr. Francis is my boy. Yes, he is. I <laughs> don't, Why do you think people don't like Dr. Francis? I don't get Because he tells them what they try to hide. He exposes the stuff they don't want nobody else to see. It's, and... And he's straight to the point, mm -hmm. and he doesn't take sides. So that's why I don't um, ever understand why people say that they don't like him. But our people over here say they like him, and that's all that matters. So he's pretty much getting to the bottom of why she operates the way that she does. So the first thing that he wanted to know was from last week, what is it that you, why do you feel like you have to protect your husband so much? And then she went on this spill about, when I know things are a lie, I feel like I have to go in with guns blazing to make sure that everyone knows that it's a lie. But Dr. Francis was like, so how do you know when something is a lie or not? What, what tools do you have in your door to explore a backpack <laughs> that, that will allow you to know whether or not this is a lie? What does fool say? I just looked him in the eyes. Do you know there are liars that can lie with a straight face? Like, and we know a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I just look them in their eyes. And I know when they're telling me, I said, Tisha, mm -mm. you should have not even said that. You should have said that I did some Google searches. I got a private, even if it was a lie, I got a private investigator. I checked his phone, <laughs> something. But I looked him in the eyes. He can lie with a straight face. Hello. A very straight face. So Dr. Francis was kind of looking at her like, okay. So her <laughs> whole thing is, if I know that my man is not telling a lie, then it's up to me to fight because he's so nonchalant about it that he will let this thing draw and mm -hmm. just drag out for forever. Because as much as people don't like Marceau, I have the same personality that Marceau has. You're not going to keep dragging me to make you believe mm -hmm. something. That I didn't do. Mm -hmm. Either you gonna believe it when I tell it to you, or you just gonna have to take this ball and run down the football field with it by yourself because I'm not participating. I get that part. Mm -hmm. But he really, at the same time, is not doing anything to mm -hmm. make her. He's not answering her. At all. At all. He's not saying, no, I didn't do it. Yes, I do. And that's what she needs from him is to say, I didn't cheat on you. But he's like, she'll say, oh, Marcel, somebody told me today it's gonna rain. He'll be like, <laughs> she's like, what do you think? Oh, Marcel answered me, oh, it ain't going to snow today. But my name, what she asking you? She asking you, is it going to rain or not? But he do a lot. The way he talk, it make me think he hiding something because he won't answer directly. That he way, if he get caught, directly. he can't say that he was lying. Good point. Very, <laughs> very Sometimes good Sometimes they point. do that. Uh, they real crafty with their words. <laughs> but they're, also, Marcel has a way of making you go around the Mayberry bush. And feel stupid. Boom. <laughs> Boom. He, he, he can, he's a master manipulator. He know how to make you feel that we question, you questioning him, but then you start questioning you. Yeah. Like, what, am I crazy? Mm-hmm, he good with that. Mm -hmm. I agree with you on that one. So, Dr. Francis is also asking Tisha, like, you as a person, who are you? And then she goes through what most women go through. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a this, I'm a that. And he was like, so outside of all of those things that you just named off, what is it that you contribute to your husband's <laughs> life? What does he need you for? Because she went on this thing talking about some, when she first met Marceau, she was so dependent. And he had a way about him that he wanted her to be more codependent 
on mm-hmm. him so that he can do certain things so that she can fall back. That's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Um, and y'all know we've had said it a thousand times. As independent as I am, I'm also dependent, mm-hmm. but I'm also very much independent when I need to be. Exactly. Because what you're not going to do is have me out in these streets looking real crazy. Looking crazy. Uh-uh. Crazy. I, I got my own money. <laughs> I have my own accounts. Mm-hmm. I got my old get out of jail card. So if I call Nicole in the middle of the night, like, hey, let's roll out. She got me. Mm -hmm. I got my money, but I I need her to come and get me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she told Dr. Francis, well, I guess only his sexual needs. I said, oh my God. And I'm like, did you see Dr. Francis? He does this thing with his mouth and teeth. Yeah. He was like, like he was wanted to say something, but he caught himself because he remember who he was talking to. But I'm like, t- excuse me, Tisha. What? If you think he's cheating and you say the only thing you can offer him is sex, <laughs> you ain't offering it to him if you're cheating because he's getting it from somewhere else. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> she is very confusing. Even uh, with this independent, dependent thing, he said previously in Vegas that he found her, basically he was saying he found her sexy and mm-hmm. attractive when she was so independent, boss ladyish. And now she's saying that she was independent and she... She's confusing as heck. You heard me last week. I was like, what is going on in this castle session? <laughs> I'm like, she, she's I, confusing. I was like, she's saying one thing and she's saying what she needs, but he's also giving what you need. But she ain't receiving it. I was so confused. Like, she at the end of the it. day, we've come to the conclusion that whatever her love language is, that's what Marceau is not doing. Mm-hmm. But we're still confused on what the love language is. We know a part of it is mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Back away from the job, your projects, all of that. Just spend time with your family. Go on vacation. We get that part. The other part is the material. Because she keeps saying mm. what she saw her mama do. And her mama bought her. And so she wants him to buy her. But he's the affectionate type. And I'm like, girl, you know how many people would love the affectionate type? Like, yeah, I done been bought stuff many times before. And to have somebody that's affectionate, like my husband is very affectionate. That's bomb. Indeed it is. Because he's like, he write, I'm like, Marso writes poems, right. like, thoughtful <laughs> stuff. And you're talking about, you want him to, you know, just I'm just used bag. to my mom. You know, she would buy me stuff. But then you just, didn't you just say you were so independent that you bought what you wanted yourself? Like, so why? She's confusing. I, I agree. I told you I was just, I was all messed up last week. <laughs> So, Tisha, we're going we gonna to hit them and get them out the way. So, Tisha goes back to Marso and having a conversation with him. And they're dealing with some stuff with the land. We don't care. At this point, I told somebody we need to get Dora the Explorer, Bob the Builder. <laughs> we need somebody with a tool belt, a hammer, and a nail to do something. Mm-hmm. That's the reason that we tuned into this show originally. And we're not seeing Nail Mm-mm. house, Mm-mm. foundation. We don't see y'all go up the mountain to save your marriage, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? It's going on. Well, they're going to try to file Uncle Mike. Now, mm-hmm. y'all already know yeah. how I feel about dealing with business, with yeah. family, and all. It's never worked out Mm-mm. for anybody that I know, and success and disaster leaves clues. Keep your business. And your family separate. Yep, yep. don't mix it. <laughs> so Mm-mm. you, it's easy to chew out a contractor when they're not meeting their deadlines. It's not easy to chew out your uncle yep. when he's not meeting a deadline. So now they're trying to give him a second chance because the people on the higher ups for him was like, you know, just let's just try to work this out. We don't came too far to turn back now. So Tisha is um telling Marceau. About her counseling session, right? Now, Tisha has this thing. And I know we talk about it all the time. She has this thing where she can bring you back information in a way it was not Mm -hmm. delivered. Mm -hmm. Which makes everyone think that all of this is for naught. Like, she was like, you know, he has me second guessing who I am and who I am as a person and what do I bring as a as an individual. And Marcel said, this is why I don't fool with that castling skit. Yeah. Cause you come back more confused than you went in there with. And I was like, that's not how he said nope. it. Nope. She messed that all. all up. And before they had this conversation, 
they had a little good conversation of what he wanted, what she wanted type thing. And then she goes, wham. Like, why would you talk about counseling when you know he don't even like it? Facts. Like, are you trying to get somebody on your page to agree with you that you feel insecure? You came back feeling insecure. You was already insecure before you left. Real but facts. now you feel more insecure. And so you're trying to get him to agree with you that or boost you up. But what it's doing is backfiring because mm. now this is reason 101 why he's not going to go to counseling. He's not going to do it. That is so true. Because if you come back to my house and you confuse why I'm going, why I'm paying my co payment, I ain't doing it. Why I'm, yeah, mm -mm. not doing it. All right, so let's 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 hit these crazy people, Mel and Martel, and these kids. Lord have mercy. So y'all know they own this whole co-parenting thing. Let's try to figure out how to do this thing as seamless as possible, less stress, no bickering, no arguing, no nothing. So they decided to meet up in the park and bring the kids along. And they were just going to, they were, it was more, for me, it was more of a, let's see where our children are emotionally and see where they are in this process of what we have gone through um, and them living in two different houses and stuff like that. So they're sitting on the grass and they first start off with Tank. And they asked Tank, like, um, what, the, what was the question? Um, what is it that you... How you see us? Yeah. How, what do you, how do you see us? As far as, you know, how we are, whatever. And he... He almost made me cry. Yeah. I was like... Because I was not expecting him to say that so quick. But kids have this honest mm. thing that they're going to tell you. If you create a space where they are safe to say what they want to say, which was why I'm glad that they had this opportunity, they're going to say it. But you got to be ready to pick up the tears and suck it, <laughs> suck it up when they say what they really feeling. But, he, yeah, he was like, I wish y'all would just go on back together so I could stop crying every day. I said no. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Not. It broke my heart. It really broke my heart. He was like, because I want to stop crying. And for a little boy to express his feelings so vividly, vividly, mm -hmm. that was just like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Because so, he's the only boy. The only boy. And he's the oldest. Uh, is he the oldest? Yeah, I think he's older than the other. Than Mariah? I think he is. He might. I think he is. So then we get on to Mariah, Mariah, and so they ask her, um, what you know, what does she want to talk about? And she asked them straight up, "Have you both thought about remarrying?" And they were like, they started like, da -da 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 -da. Mm -hmm. no, that's not where we are right now. And Boss Baby was like, good, cause I don't <laughs> want. No step parents. parents, mama or daddy. Because first of all, I don't like nobody kissing me on my Yeah, cheek. that was weird. Because I'm like, did Where somebody did kiss her? Because kids say stuff and you yeah. got to catch them. Because I'm like, did old girl or somebody try to kiss her on, on her, her cheek? cheek? That, yeah, something was up with that. I wanted them to dig into it. Say, who yeah. kissed you on your cheek yeah. and made you uncomfortable? Because that's not normal for a child to yeah. feel uncomfortable by something as innocent as a cheek kiss. Yeah. So what was that? But they didn't dig into, at least not, they oh, didn't sure. show us mm -hmm. that they dug into it. But they were like, oh, no, we're not, we're not doing any of that. So Mel tried to sweeten it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, let's just call them bonus parents. If that happens, we'll have bonus parents. And she tried to normalize divorce. Mm -hmm. I mean, as bad as it is, it is kind of normal these days. And she was like, none of my friends have two parent mm -hmm. households. Like, this right here is not the business. Yeah. I was like, these kids are getting ready to put me yeah. through it. She was like, you know, Mel was like, you know, because, like, your friends have. And the little girl was like, no. no. Like, all she wanted to say, like, all of my friends, their parents they are married. Together. And I'm like, that's kind of the dynamic. I think growing up, that's how I was. And so I remember asking my niece one time, like, your friend such and such, who is her parents? Because I might know them. And she was like... I don't know. And I'm thinking, why you don't know? They don't let it go. And I, it, it's changed. Times right. have changed. And so I get it. But it's, you know, she's saying that she, none of her parents are separated. But here it is. Her parents are now separated. So these yeah. kids are going through a lot. They really are going through a lot. They and I hope in real life they have them in some kind of counseling. Counsel, yeah. Because that little boy, I, I can't get off of it. Yeah. He just broke my heart. Yeah. So then they asked, Mar well, Mariah asked them a question. Do you have a crush on anybody? <laughs> Now, real facts. Did you look at Mel's face? Mel was looking like, I know he about to say me. I know yeah. that Martin about they to say me. It. They paused it with the commercial did. on her face. And now I thought she thought, and I know, I know he better not say old girl. Ooh. I know he fit not say that. 
because they paused it like her face was just like she was expecting something else. And the wizard said, oh, it's y'all. And Boss Baby said, that's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> then she is male junior. You hear me? She, she is male. She is male all the yes. way. She has Martel's whole face. Yeah. But all of Mel's yeah. personality. She was like, oh no, that's a lie. That's a lie because I seen you. I said, Hold oh on. yeah, that right there. You, see you at? Yeah. He said, where you see me at? I seen you at the hotel getting in the elevator with a girl. I said, oh. Because I'm like, wait a minute. Was he with her? But then she hit us with the bam. He said, like, well, where you see that at? What, my mama. Now, what I want to know from Mel is, was you just like, we from a small town originally. My hometown is small. Mm. So, you, it's like, it's here and here. You go, you gone. Was you just riding through the little small town? I don't know how big Huntsville is. Was you riding through the town and it's a small town and you and just you going said, to get groceries? Whoop. And you oh, that's spotted car. him? Or was you out, like, stalking him? Like, was with you out kids. tracking him with your kids? Now, if you were just driving and you happened to see him... That's another thing. That's one thing. But then you had to get out your car to go to the elevator. So you... <laughs> you had an accomplice with you. Your kids was your accomplices. Or at least one kid. At least one. And you let her see that. And that I got a problem with. I, got a problem I have with a that. major problem with that. And then Mel shut the baby up. Yeah. And she was like, this is me and your secret. This is our secret. And I was like, no, it's not. No, it's yeah, not. We know now. And he know now. And, and, then, and then she said, well, she's not lying, Martel. So she confirmed that Boss Baby wasn't telling a lot. Mm -hmm. Where did this baby see this at? Yep. Where was y'all at? That's what I want to know. Was you was you tracking him? Was you snooping with your kids? Or was you just going down the road casually and you said, boop? But then what made you get out of the car with your... Like, I can understand if you get caught up in the moment and you forget for a minute. But at some point in time, you had to <laughs> you grab your daughter by the hand. It got to click in. Like, stop. What am I exposed what to? What am I doing? Yeah. That, that's just... That's just crazy. And no hotel that I know of, you can see the elevator from no, the front door. No, but... Not that I know of. I'm glad she saw it because we wouldn't have known about it if she hadn't saw it. But Ooh. she shouldn't have saw it. At all. <laughs> at all. And I was sitting there trying to rationalize it. Like, yeah, maybe this wasn't in person. Maybe this baby has been exposed to some of the pictures of things that we've seen. But this little girl mm -hmm. described it. Mm -hmm. so she I was, was like, there. She was there. It won't know no <laughs> private eye picture. It, she was there with her mama when he saw it. But he didn't know that nobody saw it. That's the thing. Exactly. He didn't know. So I was waiting for Martel to lose it. But the one thing I can't give Martel credit for, Marcus shows up when them kids ain't around. But when them kids are around... Martel acts mm -hmm. real calm mm -hmm. and real mellow to the point mm -hmm. where <laughs> Mel was like, all right, kids, y'all go and play somewhere because I know that your daddy about to have it out yeah. with me. Yeah, and you, she didn't want him to do it in front of the kids. And he said that himself in one of the scenes that when they're together, they get along, but yeah. when they're not. And I wanted to say, you know why? Because when people are around, mm -hmm. you want Shalom. to embarrass and humiliate her because you're embarrassed and humiliated. Mm. That's what he does. He shows off and he tries to go low digs. He try, I he he's slick. I he's mean, slick. He she is stuff. too though. Yeah, and I'm gonna talk about what she did at the day on ball diving, and I was like, Mel, this the skit that I yeah. be talking about. <laughs> oh my god! So then Martel was like, you know what? These kids seem to know a lot about what's going on. But here's the thing, Martel. At the end of the day, like my granddaddy used to always say, all roads lead to Ford Motor Company. Everything started with you mm -hmm. and is ending with you. So the fact that your child even knows any of this began with you. Yep. <laughs> like, yeah, if you didn't do what you did, we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't have to worry about it. But that don't give her permission to kind of poke the bear or to kind of continue. <laughs> but I think with her, she's hurt. And so some people show hurt in different yeah. ways. And, and she's spiteful. being petty. Yeah, she's being petty. I can't and say And I ain't I mad know. at her. Yeah, but I, I when it comes to the kids, you got to be careful with your pettiness. Yeah. You yeah. got to kind of be... Because it'll backfire real quick. Yeah. Because yeah. they'll learn to manipulate you just as much as you're manipulating yep. the situation. Yep. And it don't... And it happens like this. You'll be like, where the heck did they learn that from? From the parents. From you. Mm -hmm. Looking right at you. And so, then Martel, um, Mel asked Martel... Once the kids was out the way, when do you think is going to be a good time for these children to meet their brother? I hope, you know, he started getting into the eye. Told him, wait, 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 wait. I was thinking about it. You know, I think about that. I'm going to have it, have it happen real soon. And, <laughs> you know, something like that. You know, I was thinking about it. But, uh, oh, but, 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 but this is where he started digging. 
well, 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 you know, with your family and stuff, you know, when you were born out of wedlock and whatever, yeah. and uh, they, 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 they took 18 years to meet you, so maybe I should... I yeah, said, he was being small. Because I think she was genuinely asking from a place of, okay, it's fine I mean, for them to meet. Cause it's nothing. Kids. Yeah, it's nothing. She, she was not trying to take it out on the baby. Their dad did not ask to be here. She was wanting to know, mm. when are you going to let them meet? Because that's their sister, that's their brother, whatever. That's their brother, their siblings. And he went left really quick with... And did you see the dig that he did? Which one? Well, I don't know if I want you there when it she happened. She asked that. She like, didn't ask that. And Mel's not going to do nothing to that baby. No. Because she she is got smart enough to know that she can't be in that situation. She's too hurt. It would hurt her too bad. Mm -hmm. It would hurt her too bad to see, you know. Her children her, hurt yeah. that. And to see, you got a hus your husband's baby right there. That you, that's not, you didn't carry. That would hurt too bad. So she mm. had sense, but he shouldn't have said that. Like. He's like, I don't want you there. I'm yeah. There. Martell. Like you he do too much. Like I can't I can't with him. I really want oh, I wonder has has time caught up and they have met the baby? Mm. If not, I wanna know like what what do you think the perfect scenario would be for that? Because I also agree. I don't think Mel should be there. Probably neither one of them should be there. That's what the I was thinking. Baby mamas should not be there. It should be like an outside, like a picnic or a play day at the park. Bring the grandma with just the grandma, Martell and the kids. That's what I was thinking. Because it's too much tension. Mm -hmm, the grown ups is gonna do too much and yeah, you it's gonna get messy and turn it just needs to be him, him maybe his mom to supervise, you know. A counselor, and, police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just the kids. That's it. Because if you bring her, then then it's an issue of not just her being around Mel's kids, you know, well, that's still be the issue. You got mm -hmm. her around and you she doesn't and Mel has the right to say if she wants her around the kids or not. That's true. That she has the right to say as their mother and as your ex wife. But yeah, it gotta be just him, the grandma, and the kids. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't I which I don't see no other way around mm -mm. it. Because them baby mom, well, wife and baby mom, mm -hmm. they can't mm -mm, mm -hmm. mm -mm. it's too much bad. They yeah. legit have been in a relationship with each other for probably over five years. Yeah. Real facts. Yeah. Toxic triangle. Mm-hmm. Oh, you want to bring all that energy together? No. no. It's like a ticking time bomb. That's Man. Gonna go with the kids. Woo. Uh-uh. <laughs> because all old girl mm. will have to do is say one thing wrong. And she will. And, and I think she would do it on purpose. Yeah. And then Mel will be on. And I'll, I, I'll be here for it. Because like, drag right. her. I, yeah. I don't condone I'll violence. Do. She but. does. <laughs> But some moments are draggable. Like, uh -huh. yeah, some uh -huh. things you just don't out. do. Yeah, you just don't do. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and I can see because out of all of them, Ariane has the least to lose. Yeah, she don't care. So, she clearly don't care. Yeah, so it would be nothing for her to poke the bear at Mel and cause her to risk it all. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Crazy. And let's talk about these goddamn Whitlow's. The least we have to talk about them, the better. But they did not annoy me as much as no. they usually do. But this was one thing that annoyed the heck out of me because I was like, it was so unnecessary. So they are coming up on their one year anniversary. So they decided that since they really couldn't do the wedding that they really wanted with all of the people because mm -hmm. of COVID, they wanted to bring their closest friends with their newest friends together at the ball diamond. And they just have a little, it's like a little fun, fun. day. Like mm -hmm. it's just some playing some bas uh, some baseball and just, just chopping it up. So, on the back of her shirt, she was like Mrs. Whitlow. So, she asked her husband, what's on the back of your shirt? It should say, um, um, what was it, Swirl Lover? Yeah, I didn't like that. What? Because I'm like, why would you think that of yourself? Why I are you think fetishizing like, yourself? Yeah, I'm like, did somebody, something happened to you as a child, which we know some stuff happened to her, but it's just like, what? She gets hung up on that biracial thing. And yeah. I've noticed that. And I think that. people must have, she, it got to be with her being adopted. Like, she felt like she didn't have a place. And people must have teased her. So, you know how some people, yeah. your insecurity, you joke about it because you're really insecure about it. So, you mm -hmm. kind of, and that seems like almost what she's doing. But she does it at the inappropriate times. She's just inappropriate. Yeah. But it trips me out when everyone else is inappropriate on her time. She doesn't know what to do with mm -hmm. it. Like, they're so out of place and mm -hmm. out of pocket. No, no, no. They just replaced themselves <laughs> with what you've done. Mm -hmm. Looks different when the shoe is on the mm -hmm. other foot. So they're out there, they're playing baseball and whatnot. Destiny comes a little later because, you know, she's the only one that's not partnered up. At this point, real fast, 
I would rather for Destiny and Martell to partner up as good friends because they are friends mm -hmm. and do competitive stuff like this rather than Martell and Mel be put in these situations yeah. where they can start to get on each other's nerves and just ruin everyone's yeah. day. Yeah. And I've said it from the jump. Every opportunity that they can get at someone else's event, mm -hmm. they show out. Yeah, they went left. It was fun, but <laughs> then once they got fun. together, it went left pretty quickly. For no reason. Yeah. But it was Mel this time. So they ended the game, and the Scots pretty much did what they did. And But Marceau and Tisha had to go ahead and leave because they're doing this 5K Destiny run or mm -hmm. whatever. So they had to do some things with that. So they dipped off for a minute, but they're going to be back. So they're sitting down, just chopping it up and whatnot. I guess Tiffany's real original friends was like, oh, yeah, this is not my lane. I'm going to go ahead and fall <laughs> back. I'll let y'all make good mm -hmm. TV because I don't want no parts of this. Yeah. So they're sitting down talking and whatnot. So when they said something about the Destiny race, Destiny was like, mm-hmm, because the Scots can't keep me off their vibe. Like, they real obsessed about me. They don't it's, name their whole race after me. It's something about her for me. Like she'd be doing the most. The Pepto Bismol body uh -uh. cream. <laughs> the, it's something about her because she has it. She's like her and Tiffany are the same but different. Like Tiffany has yeah, attention too. with her mouth, but Destiny like think people. She's a beautiful girl. She is beautiful. But like, cause I'm like the Scots are. So you you think one Scott wants a threesome? A threesome. With you. you think the other one some wants you? Like eh, no. I Destiny. never thought about it like that. Cause I mean I'm not gonna tell you that. We friends with her. I'm not going to be like, oh, girl, your, your, your little son. son won't me. Right. Because at I'm the like, end of the day, that's still somebody's son. And you can get your butt with. I mean. But she says it and she's okay. Like, she just be doing, she be doing too much. She really does be doing mm -hmm. too much when it comes to that. I ain't even think about it like that. Mm -hmm. So Maurice had to be like, you know what? Destiny, everything ain't about yeah. you. Yeah. This was just something that it just happened to be named that. So then they turned it around and was like, no, I think it was Destiny that said, no, that's Martell that thinks everything is about him. Or something like that. Mm -hmm. Some kind of way Martell's name got brought up. Probably Destiny. And Martell was like, who, who, me? No, 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 never. No, Martell Tiffany said not. something about Martell. She made that a comment. Sounds, I forgot what she right. said. They were saying something and she said something. And it was like, did you hear that Martell? And he's like, who, me? Like, that. I was like, okay, Martell is actually trying to be on his best behavior. Mm -hmm. I will give that to him. Y'all know he is not... A person that I like at mm -hmm. all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So then this is when Mel poked the bear and she did it on purpose. I I will stand on it. She was like, oh, he's over there and I can see it. Like he's bawling over because, you know, everybody's here about love. And our 13th year would have been mm -hmm. coming up in July. And I can just see it. I can see it all over and that. It's just really bothered. He said, oh, that's about to come up? Oh, I forgot. I forgot, yeah. No, you didn't. I was like, <laughs> no, you she didn't. was like, our anniversary. I think she wanted to take a dig as far as. Oh, she took that dig. It's our anniversary coming up. We ain't together because of you. But then he is like nonchalantly like, I ain't thinking about our anniversary. That's basically what he said. He really was like, I, I ain't thinking about, about that. You know you remember your wife's anniversary. If you he don't, you the whole jerk. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know you remember the anniversary. But he wasn't like soaking or anything like that. So I was like, Mel, you really doing the most right yeah. now. But this is where Marcus showed mm -hmm. up. Ain't no kids around now. Mm -hmm. So there's no buffer. No filter. Baby, Marta says, see, 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 this is, this, this is skin that I'm talking about. This is it right mm -hmm. here. And she just mad because I divorced her. But y'all don't know nothing about that. I said, hold on, wait, say more or say less. No, he should have stopped right there and just changed. Because <laughs> then when he went with Kanye. You know, Kanye and Kim, I said, this is a lunatic. Who wants to compare themselves <laughs> to Kanye and Kim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, I'm Kanye. Like, I told Kim, I separated. You know how Kanye separated from Kim? And then Kim filed while they were separated? Like, that's what she did. He said, we did that to save face. We did that to save face. And then she jumped on social media. And da, 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 da. She was like, what I put on social media? Well, well, I don't know. I don't know. You always own it. You real crafty with it. She is crafty with social media. But he is, too. Yeah. But she don't need to be. Louis was like, look, how about <laughs> you stay up? He's trying to make him accountable for your... Because you can't control what nobody else do. That's real He's fast. trying to tell you to you stop doing it. Well, she do it. He remind me of when you got two little kids in elementary yes. school and they'd be like, well, she did it first. Stop. The teacher be like, stop doing it. Well, teacher, she did it first. Uh -huh. it don't, and they'd be going back and forth. Back she did it forth. first. It's like it's nothing accomplished. Like, what the heck? <laughs> that is so true. 
And um, and he go, uh, Martel, no, 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 Lou, 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 uh-uh, uh-uh. Because right here, you know, you're dealing with a king right here. The king should be respected. And uh, and no, 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 if, if I got to stay in my place, then she should stay in her place too. And I'm like, I, I get all of that. But she did. She poked that bear and Marcel. He came Mar Marcus, full grizzly. Marcus showed the entire hell up. <laughs> you hear me? Mm -hmm. I said, what we not going to do is tear these people good ball diamond up with these good it tax paying dollars. It, it was embarrassing every time they oh just my get. God. And you just want to, oh, I divorce, you could show. And then he like, what would happen is he gets more aggressive. The more he realizes that he didn't put his foot in his mouth. Because I'm like, you just said last time you wanted to go for joint custody or full custody. Mm -hmm. Now you're co-parenting. Now you just said on national TV that you asked for a divorce first. Huh. And you had an affair on national TV. So now you realize, you, oh, you can show the part. You know, I always, I've always asked for a divorce. And she was like, and I'm glad that Mel handled like she did and she didn't say, she did. no, you didn't. You know how some people be like, you didn't ask me for a divorce. She said, oh yeah, you did many times. Uh -huh. And you know, couples, you get, you in a fight, you in a fight, and sometimes you throw out that D word because you're just like, being petty. But you ain't mean it. But in you that ain't moment. mean it. And then they showed a clip that he asked to be shown, and he was just a sarcastic. You, you mess around. I, I might file first. I he said first. it nonchalantly. Mm -hmm. He wasn't threatening. So like whatever he was trying to prove, Thomas like, yeah, that that was only one time. Whatever you was trying <laughs> to prove, you just disproved, and then you just got mad because you realized you disproved it real talk <laughs> I was like, like so then he goes back to the original mm -hmm. let's blast mail but see but but you cheated too in hotels for a couple of days and stuff like that. that's what happens when someone is sick of you they go and stay at a hotel they because separate. they have money to not crash mm -hmm. on someone's couch mm -hmm. and she said <laughs> i think before in the past about you know sometimes she had to exit stage left yeah but he he like he got this thing whenever he's put against the wall he he's will say out. that bye. yeah he don't care what he say how below the belt he goes he's a female yeah he's like oh well you che like when he was mad at mar um what's his name marcel mm -hmm. oh he yeah. had 20 women 20. like at this point stop stop saying anybody cheating because don't nobody believe you no more because they no. know what you do yeah because at this point if you say somebody cheating nobody believes you even if the person is doing it exactly the I little boy to cry wolf pretty much <laughs> So, Lou and and um, Tiffany, they tried one more attempt to yeah. to get it back on track. It was not happening. Uh -huh. So, they did what they should have done from the first segment of argument. Separate mm -hmm. the men from the women. Mm -hmm. So, the men go out. So, by this time, Tisha and Marcel don't show back up. They and Marcel said, it feels like it's been martellified in here. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I was like, you know your brother. Yep. You know your good friend. Yep, birds of a feather. So he goes outside. He was like, I see a whole bunch of angry women in there. So I came out. What happened? Yep. Montel gets outside and his other personality shows up. You know, no, you know, you know, this, that, and the third. Like, nothing. I try to be good when we together. <laughs> we with the kids. We ain't got none of this. But we get here. I don't understand. You understand it. Again, you try to humiliate her <laughs> and embarrass her. Because one minute you want to be with her, I can see myself remarrying. Oh, yeah. I can see myself remarrying male. That's how he was doing, trying to put it on heavy. But now, you didn't ask for divorce. <sighs> he just, he too much. Why are we even here with this show? I, I this is not what we signed on. No, because they, oh, oh. they, I'm, I ain't seen nothing, like you said, on Scott Manor. Uh, nothing uh, but nail. mud. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing but mud and dirt. I ain't seen nothing with that other little project that originally the reason why they supposed to start this to beautify the community. I mean, I see black. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I ain't seen nothing but a whole bunch of drama. You got all these successful black people and we and just no got drama. Yeah. Is that what we really came together for? Like, no. I guess so. We all here talking I mean, it gives us some good entertainment, but I mean, really, like, we yeah. want to see something else. Yeah. Y'all y'all pretty much catfished us into this. Yeah. Because now we we looking at drama. Now we looking at love and hip hop <laughs> on a country level. Real estate version. <laughs> <laughs> Without any real estate. Without any real estate, yeah. <laughs> so, Lord, what do I happen now? So now we in here with the women, right? Tish came to the back. <laughs> we gonna have to talk this through because what happened? Like, seriously. So, Tisha comes in and she was like, y'all, I sent the group text. And the only <laughs> people text 
And <laughs> the only people that answered me was these two over here, Destiny and Mel. But I ain't hear nothing from y'all. And um, here go my girl, Kimmy. Well, I did the call of action where I clicked that link, followed that email, and did what I got to do. But I didn't feel the need to answer in the group text because I didn't feel like I should have been in a group text. So no. Melody was like, so you don't want to be in a group text with her? I was saying the same thing. What's, what's wrong with the group text? I think with her, and I understand her because now if this was before, like say a Vegas never happened, their right. little hee hee ha ha moment, then I could say, well, what the heck is Kimmy saying? But I think with Kimmy, it's like, okay, let's just say that I want to send out stuff to a bunch of business people and I group text you and Stanley yeah. in it. I ain't going to group text y'all because we like this. So I think what Kimmy was saying is like, we like family. You you could just hit me up you can and that. you know, I got you. Like you want a sponsorship? I got you. It don't take all that for me. You don't have to include me. I think that's what Kimmy was saying. Yeah. But Tisha was already in her feelings about it because she wanted to say it. And that's another thing that she could have had a sidebar with Kimmy about that. She brought that up in front of the whole everybody. group because she wanted to be shady, slick shady. That's what she is. Mm -hmm. She was slick shady. Yeah. And so Kimmy was like, just like you said, if you feel some kind of way, you could have called me. Mm -hmm. And then Tisha went on the, and I hate, mm. listen, our friendship group is really diverse. Some of us like everybody and some of us don't mm -hmm. like certain ones. Some of us like the phone, some of us like the text. Right. What? I, Tisha. I will call you. What? But you don't never call me. She's like that whiny girl on the playground, but don't nobody nobody wants to play with her. That one girl in elementary school that don't nobody want to play with because she whining and, and everything. But you gotta play with her because it's a teacher daughter. I'm done. <laughs> That's who she is. Or either she got the mean mom and you're scared of the mama, so you play with the girl. She's that whiny girl that don't nobody want to be playing with. That's what she is. and she's beautiful. That's what gets me. She is me. very pretty. But she's so insecure. Like she is needy. She, yeah. I want you, you're my friend. We got to go everywhere. Yeah. Let's go skip down the road together. We're such a good friend. She <laughs> just needs somebody all the time. But she said, I'm going to give you the energy you've been giving me over the years. Kimmy was so me on that. And that, that is a character flaw of mine is that I don't call people. Nicole, I don't either. I don't either. We'll text each other to death. Yeah. Get on that phone. I think the last time we've been on the phone with each other, it's probably been over a year. I don't even remember how to die. We don't call each other. Yeah. We're not telephone mm -mm. people, but we mm -hmm. communicate. Mm -hmm. And that's what Kimmy was saying. I have never, if you go back to the beginning of the foundation when mm -hmm. the, when the stone got rolled away, mm -hmm. I never was a caller. Yeah. So now all of a sudden it's a problem. Yeah. Because it's a problem. Because it's a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, maybe you're not a caller. Maybe you're just a planner. This is when it went like, way left. You plan events, you know? You've been planning events and didn't invite me to it? Kimmy said, what event? And she was like, well, I guess it's not an event if, if, you, know, if, if, if you, you can't recall not. it. If you say it's not a thing, then it's not a thing. So apparently somebody told her that Kimmy didn't have some. And knowing Tisha, Letitia, it could have been, Kimmy could have took some girls from work or whatever. And cooked and, them up some salad. Yeah, or went on spa day. And because she found out about it and she won't include it, that's the event. That's the event. And Kimmy's like, so when they asked her to say something, even Mel was like, okay, well. What? And what got me is she brought all of this to the group. And but when the group kept trying to, you know, smooth it over and talk like they did for her multiple times, they tried to smooth it over and talk about it. You, it ain't none of your business. Ain't nothing. No, it's not a thing. Well, why'd you bring it up to the group if you ain't want them to help you out or to, or to help get it cleared up? Because they're trying to clear it up as to what you're talking about. Mm, she realized that she put her foot in her entire mouth. Mm -hmm. And if you had continued to go forward, you would look stupid. Yep. But not, but not saying it also made you look mm -hmm. stupid. Mm -hmm. And Nothing I was stupid. sitting there like I rewind it back. Yeah. Like Stella say, I rewind, I rewind it forward and backwards to make it make sense. <laughs> to make it, it don't make sense. sense. It, it and just I was didn't. like, so it's, yeah. It but it sounded to me if I felt like Kimmy knew what she was hinting toward. Yeah. And she wanted her to say it because whatever it is, like you said, mm -hmm. it wasn't the way that it yeah. looked. It could have been that her mom and aunties came into town and she had a little sheen dig in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about friendships. You don't have to get invited to everything. Everything, yep. And it's a dynamic of family. I think Letitia, 
I think she gets confused about what sister-in-laws, what they look... And she may be closer with her other sister-in-laws, but there's a difference between your husband's sister's and your husband's brother's sister. You're going to have a different relationship with them. With the you have, show. Yeah, because you got two brothers married and they have things in common. Then you got the sisters. The sisters may, I ain't saying they don't like you, but they could just fake the phone. But <laughs> where, where the, the sister-in-law that's married to the brother could they just don't totally, to. don't. they don't got to fake nothing. Because they, they ain't got to deal with you. They, they ain't married, married to you. Know, they, yeah, they ain't married to you at all. There's no real, you know. So she get this thing confused as to what she wants. Like she wants Kimmy stuck up I'm her under. butt. I think she wants her, like, you remember when Mel used to live on a golf course or something like their first house? Mm -hmm. And they had that moment where Mel had them over yeah, and Kimmy was under for her. Mm -hmm. I think she wants it back before that. But what happened is Kimmy started to build relationships with everybody herself. Right. To not be known as, Tisha's I'm her friend, her sister-in-law. Sister I want to be known as Kimmy. And I get that. Because who want to be known as the whiny girl's best friend? And no. real fact. Kimmy is older. The older you get, mm -hmm. one, you all about your goals and what mm -hmm. you got going on that's affecting you directly yep. and personally. And what I don't have, and the older I get, I'm 43, mm -hmm. <laughs> the older I get, I realize I don't have time to babysit yep. other people's emotions. Mm -mm. If you have something that's going on with you, that's an insecurity with you, I'm not going to mm -hmm. hurt you. But I'm also not going to be a participant yeah, she's not gonna in be it as pacifier. well. No. no. She's not going to be your pacifier. Uh, that's what you want. Oh, uh, That's why the friends that I do got, we've been friends for how long? Since high school? Uh, high school. On the curve, <laughs> on lunch. On the curve, sitting on the curve, on lunch. All of us understand <laughs> each other. We don't have that. Yeah. Because she ain't going to pacify me. It ain't going to pacify her. <laughs> We know when something wrong with each other. Yeah. We check on each other. We check each other. And then mm -hmm. we just move the hell on. Yep. And get over it. <laughs> but like, I can't be like, Nicole, I ain't heard from you all yeah. week. We'll just be she like. She got a husband and three kids. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just be like, hey, girl. Hey, I ain't heard you, from you. You alive? You alive? You alive? You breathing? You well? Not no. Oh, I ain't heard from you. So I'm going to start giving you the same energy you uh -huh. giving me. Like, you invite me to your son's baseball game. What the heck? Like, what? You know he played. Just go. <laughs> So yeah, that was just, I don't know what she was doing with it. Like, this whole sh episode, she got on my first and last nerve. But the way everybody looked at her was like... Even Dr. Francis. <laughs> everybody. The whole episode, everybody looked at her like she was crazy. I was like, wow. I actually thought this week's episode was going to be the episode that was going to take us in with the mamas. Mm -mm. I was waiting for it. Because usually when we come off of a break like this, they hit us with the good stuff. Yeah. They could have saved this real fast. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I really got out of it was a heartbreak for them kids. Yeah, it was a heartbreak. And I was watching, like I said, I'd be watching people in the background. Like I watched Dr. Francis' mouth when he wanted to say, <laughs> and I watched Destiny when Mel and Martell was fussing. Like she was trying to say stuff. So she was like, yeah, girl. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. And I watched that. And I think when you see the upcoming one, we begin to dig into the next episode. I uh, think it's going to be addressed by Martell's mom. She... I ain't going to talk about Martell Mama have, but I'm going to talk oh, no, I'm gonna talk about it next week. Some of them wigs be just, or some of these people on She the be show. giving me Whitney Houston vibes, and on that note, straight from the VA, <laughs> the dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Hi. Hi.